Lights up. Pray, somebody take these. Oh, Mr. Hale. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you for coming, but why is it so heavy? They, mu they must be. They are made with authority. <laughs> you do come prepared. We shall need hard study if it comes to tracking down the old boy. <laughs> you cannot be Rebecca Nurse. I am, sir. Do you know me? It is strange how I do, but I suppose you look such a good soul as I. We have all heard of your great charity and privilege. <laughs> Mr. Hill, do you know this gentleman? Mr. Thomas Putnam, his good wife and heirs. Putnam. I had not expected such distinguished company. You do not seem to do us much help today, Mr. Hale. We look to you to come to our house and save our child. The child ails her too. Her soul, her soul seems flown away. She sleeps and yet she walks. She cannot eat. Not eat? Uh, do you men have afflicted children? No, no, these are farmers. John Potter. I don't believe in witches. I never spoke on witches either way. Now, will you come, Giles? No, no, John, I think not. I have some queer questions to ask this fellow on my own. I've heard you to be a sensible man, Mr. Hill. I just hope you leave some and say. We well, looked at my daughter, sir. We discovered her this morning on the high road, waving her arms as though she'd fly. And she tried to leap out the window. Tries to fly? She cannot bear to hear the Lord's name, Mr. Hale. That's a sure sign of witchcraft. No, no. Now, let me instruct you we cannot look superstition in this. The devil is beside us. The marks of his presence are definite as stone, and I must tell you, all that I shall find shall not proceed unless you are prepared to believe me if I should find no proof of hell upon it. It is agreed, sir. It's agreed. We shall abide by your judgment. Good then. <coughs> now, sir, what were your first warning of the strange name? Ah, uh, well, sir, I discovered her and, and my niece. It was where Lieutenant Wolf, well, the other girls, dancing. You prevent dancing? No! No, it was. Mr. Perry says his slave has knowledge of conjuring, sir. Now, we cannot be sure of that, but he has. I know it, sir. I sent my child. She should learn from Tituba, who murdered her sister. Tony Ann. Goody Ann, you sent the child to conjure up the dead? Let God blame me, not you, not you, Rebecca. I'll not have you judging me anymore. Is it a natural work to lose seven children before they even live in the Shh, shh, shh. Seven dead of childhood. Stripped of all his true disguises. I have no fear now. We shall find out if he has come among us, and I, I mean to crush him out of the idea of his faith. Will it hurt the child, sir? I cannot tell. If she truly is in the devil's grip, we may have to rip and tear to get her free. Oh. Oh. I think I'll go then. I am too old for this. Why, Rebecca, we may open up the boil of all our troubles today. Let us hope for that. I go to God for you, sir. I hope you do not mean that we go to Satan here. I wish I knew. Come, Mr. Hale, let's get on. So do you hear? Uh, uh, Mr. Hale, I always wanted to ask a learned man. What signifies the reading of strange books? Uh, what book? I can't tell. She hides them. Who does this? Martha, my wife. I've walked at night many a time and found her in a corner reading of a book. Now, what do you read at? Not necessarily. I, it discomfits me. Last night, mark this, I tried to <laughs> cry, and I couldn't say my prayers. Then she closed her book and walks out of the house, and suddenly, mark this, I can pray again. <laughs> oh, the stoppage of prayer. If that's strange, I'll speak with this further with you. Now, I'm not saying she touched the devil, but I admire to know what type of book she reads and why she hides them. She'll not answer me, you see? I will discuss it. Uh, now mark me. If the devil is in her, yeah. we'll all witness some wonderful wonders in this room. So please keep your wits about you. Yes. Mr. Putnam, 
step closer to she cry. Now, Betty dear, would you sit up? Can you hear me? I am John Hale, Minister of Beverly. I have come to help you here. Do you remember my two little girls in Beverly? Oh, how can it be the devil? Why did he choose my house to strike? We have all manner of licentious folk in the village. What victory would the devil have to put a soul already mad? It is the best the devil wants. And who is better than the minister? Oh, that's deep, Mr. Paris, deep, deep. Betty, Betty, answer Mr. Hale. Betty. If something has afflicted a child, it need not be a woman, mind you, or a man. Perhaps some invisible to others comes to you. Perhaps a pig or a mouse or any beast at all. Is there some figure bids you fly? Why are you concealing? Have you sold yourself to 